You guys all set? Yeah. What? How did this go? Uh, well, I thought it went well. I thought the group was uh, the group of guys that we had today was were, were good, and everyone was locked in and focused and competing. So, I mean, that's all you can ask for for you know workouts like these, and it was fun, um, uh, competitive uh, group. You played four years in college, so teams have seen a lot of film on you. So what are you trying to show them that maybe you don't think they know about you in these settings? Um, you know, going out here, you know, you want to show teams or you want to show them, you know, what you what you what what they haven't seen, obviously. But you want to also, you know, show them what you can do and show them that you can do it at a high level and um, consistently, too. So just coming, you know, showing a little bit of both, um, showing a little bit of my game and, and also just the stuff that I can do. Explain that. Your three-point shooting gradually improved and improved and improved. You don't need us to tell you that. <laughs> how, how did you go about doing that? Uh, I think it just came with, with a lot more experience, a lot more, uh, just more and more work as the years went by. Um, and then, you know, just being more comfortable with my shot, uh, you know, making those right adjustments, uh, whichever it is. Yo, yeah, John, when you look at your time at Kansas, what about that prepared you for this next step? Everything. I think, uh, you know, being under a Hall of Fame coach, you learn a lot. Um, you learn a lot about um, all 10 guys on the court at one time, um, what, where they're supposed to be, uh, how to execute, all that stuff. So obviously playing under a Hall of Fame coach helps that. But, you know, just playing at the highest level every single night helps that too. Um, you're getting everyone's best shot. So there's no night where you can't relax. Have you had anybody from Kansas League guys that have reached out to you, give you any advice? Um, you know, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of uh, old KU alumni that have, that have been to the league or are still in the league playing. Um, just talk with them about, you know, what to expect out of this process, uh, what to expect in, in, the, in these next few months. In, in addition to your dad, your mom played college basketball mm -hmm. at Wisconsin, Milwaukee, right? Yeah. Uh, what kind of, how did that influence your, your growth and interest in the sport? Uh, I would say just, just from a young age, I was introduced to basketball. My sister and I were both introduced to basketball. Obviously, she, she ended up taking the volleyball route, but um, no, my fault. Um, but no, just, just basketball has always been in my family. Um, it's something that, you know, it's always carried through, and uh, my, my parents are both big fans. Which of your parents provides the more, the more or the most on-court advice, the most basketball-related advice? I'll say my dad. Um, you know, he doesn't really say too much. He's not, you know, always out here telling me where to be and every single game, all that stuff. But uh, just, just the simple things, um, just the simple reminders before going to a game, stuff like that. So, yeah. Had you talked with the Withers front office previously at the Combine or a different event? And if so, what kind of feedback had they given you? Yeah, uh, I talked to them at the, at the Combine. Um, it was a really good talk. Uh, I think it went well, and they're more excited to have me here. So, um, you know, I'm just excited to be here, and I'm, I'm glad the Wizards, you know, uh, have me here for a workout. What was it like working out with and against Marjan? I think this is the first workout the Wizards have held where it's two likely first-round picks going against each other. Um, it's good. Marjan and I have actually been at the past – two workouts together uh yeah past two workouts together um back in chicago and, and cleveland so you know we're kind of battling each other uh battling each other you know city to city and uh flying with each other place to place so it's cool <laughs> where else have you worked out so far uh i've worked out for charlotte um oklahoma city chicago uh cleveland and then here and where do you where do you have stuff lined up um, so I have Atlanta and uh, New York next week. So you're racking up the frequent flyer miles. Yes, time. yes, yes. Uh, how, how physically taxing was, was this, this particular workout compared to the others you... Um, I'd say this one was, was probably the most physical taxing. I think just playing the, the full court one-on-ones, uh, continuous and, and doing a lot of things continuous, um, you know, really, really, you know, displayed uh, uh, got a lot of guys' stamina and conditioning and, and playing under that too. What are some of the common questions you're getting from teams that are kind of re repeat questions about yourself? Uh, the basic question is like, tell us about yourself. Um, I think that's really it. What, what was said at halftime in the na national championship game? Um, <laughs> that, was, that was another thing too, so. Did they have you draw up a play here? They've done that with prospects. Yeah, game. yeah, so I drove a play for the three on three uh, segment. Oh, okay, was that unusual? compared to other workouts? Uh, yeah, yeah, that was the first time I had ever, like we ever had to draw up a play and then obviously execute it. So uh, it was cool that I, you know, I took the stand and, and uh, drew up a play for my team. Were you guys successful in the play that you drew up? I was making sure it was successful, but I, I missed the shot. So that was on me, but I did draw up the play. So. How about, I'm sure you're getting this question everywhere. How about just being a four-year player, a potential lottery pick when a lot of these guys are one and done? Mm -hmm. um, you know, it just shows everyone has their own path. Uh, I think everyone by now um, in our generation, generations before us and, and generations to come understand that everyone has their own race. Um, 
you know, you, sometimes you got to stay patient. Sometimes it's not going to be there right away. First two years, first three years. Um, but if you stay the course, then, um, you know, things will come to uh, fruition. Since this is kind of ACC Big East country, or at least it used to be, mm -hmm. for people around here who aren't familiar with your game, what are some of the things you do well? Um, just shooting the ball, uh, making athletic plays. I think that's the, that's the two things that I can bring to the table. Um, just my defense, my, my tenacity, and uh, just my competitiveness, competitiveness overall, and uh, just my winning spirit. Do you, okay. um, how pleased were you with uh, how you performed at the combine? I mean, your vertical leap, for instance, mm -hmm. was one of the, I think, standout metrics. Yeah. Uh, I obviously thought my, my vertical could be better. Um, that's, that, that was the only thing I was doing at the, at the, uh, the combine. I wasn't playing in the game, but um, no, it was a good turnout going out there, interviewing all the teams, um, you know, really talking with the teams that I'm, I'm likely to maybe go to and stuff like that. So it was cool meeting, meeting with all these new people and um, just seeing guys, you know, work at the combine that are in it. Do you by chance have any past relationships with anybody on the Wizards, team members or front office people? Uh, I kind of know Cassius, um, just from like college basketball, all that stuff. But uh, I actually was a roommate with Jordan Shackle last year during pre-draft training. So got to meet with him, um, saw his transition last year, coming into uh, the league and going play through the, playing in the G League and, and being a part of this organization. So it's really cool. Yeah, you were in the pre-draft process last year, right? Mm -hmm. And then you went back. Yep. Um, obviously, you won a title, so it was a yeah. good decision. <laughs> yeah. um, but how much have you grown uh, just in, as a basketball player mm -hmm. in the last calendar year? A lot. I mean, I've learned a lot, of, uh, I've learned a lot about myself. I've uh, learned a lot about me being as a, a leader and uh, stepping into a different role that I, you know, that you usually, not a lot of people get to step into as being that leader role on, on the, you know, the national championship team. So it's, it's really cool. And, you know, I learned a lot from that and learned a lot from the guys that I was playing with. And um, just trying to continue that and, and bring it to, to any organization that picks me. Is there anybody in the league or... I guess past or previous that you have uh, modeled your game after? I would say, yeah, I would say uh, not really as far as like exactly modeling my game after, but I watch a lot of uh, um, Desmond Bain. Um, that's someone that I'd say is similar to me um, as far as game wise. We're both athletic, big, strong, and, and can guard and, and make plays off the bounce too. And the fact that he was a four year guy who mm -hmm. was yeah, no, went I, I saw, the radar. Yeah, he was he was four year guy, went under the radar, and obviously has his feet down in uh, uh, Memphis now. So it's really cool seeing that. and. He's another one of those guys. I saw his transition to the league. So, when you made the decision to go back, did was the chance to win a title like part of the equation? Or yeah, no, it, it was the it was the it was part of it. Um, I, I felt in a way that you know if I was to return to Kansas, um, you know, going back for my senior season, this would be my last go around. Um, I didn't want to look back and be like, you know, why didn't I do this? Why didn't I do that? Um, so it was kind of a situation where I didn't want to regret anything. Um, just went to the season, went to the season trying to win at all cost. Have you received your ring yet? No, not yet. Not till next year. <laughs> next year so.